Hello, good morning one and all and welcome to Pankaj Sir's Echelon Tutorials. In this today's video, we are going to start with a new chapter. The name of the chapter is uh, uh, Matrices and Transformation. This is from the IGCSE curriculum. Okay, so let me write down for you. Uh, fine. So, we are into IGCSE curriculum. Let me write down first that. And uh, this is extended mathematics, okay? Extended, this is not for the core students, this is for the extended mathematics. Okay, I am uh, as usual referring to the David Rayner book. This is the book I am referring to, okay? Uh, I am referring to the fourth edition, right? Okay, and uh, as I told you, the name of the chapter is, uh, uh, in fact, the chapter num uh, number is 9, I suppose. Yeah, chapter number is 9. And the name of the chapter is Matrices and uh, Transformation. Okay. So this is the topic of today's video. We are going to start with this video and uh, this will be the first part of this uh, video. I mean the first video of this chapter matrices and transformation. I think there will be uh, many videos covering this chapter. Okay, because I'll be covering in parts, right? But I'll be going in a proper order, right? So in this today's video, we are going to start with the matrices part of this particular chapter. So I'm going to explain you what are matrix what are the different uh, operations that can be done on a matrix that is addition, subtraction, multiplication, etc. Okay. And slowly, steadily we'll be proceeding. Right. So that's the summary. So let's get started with. Okay. So let me choose a better pen. Yeah. This is good. Black one. Fine. Okay. So let us get started with. So number one. Let me tell you what is a matrix, okay? What is a matrix, okay? Matrix is nothing but a arrangement of a certain uh, objects, okay? You can call them as elements, okay? In a, either a rectangular bracket or a bracket like this, okay? A huge round bracket, okay? So you can arrange the elements here in the form of rows, and columns okay so suppose this is uh, these are the places for the arrangement of the rows and the columns okay now this is supposed to be called as row 1 this is row 2 and this is column 1 column 2 and column 3 okay and here in this case this is row 1 the top one is the row 1 uske niche there will be row 2 then at the bottom there will be row 3 so to go in this order okay top to bottom row one row two row three and columns will go from left to right so this is column one and this is column two okay elements can be like numbers it can be alphabets it can be you know the uh, you know it can be anything like it can be objects it can be uh, cost it can be rupees money whatever okay so these are the elements okay so basically a matrix is composed of uh, composed of uh, certain elements and these elements are arranged in the rows and column format okay the horizontal ones are known as rows and the vertical ones are known as columns and of course you have to put it in a rectangular bracket or a huge round bracket like this okay fine now this particular element at this place is known as now in general the element i am writing as a in general okay now the position of this element is this is belonging to the first row and the first column so i am going to write here a11 now here the element will be a12 because it is belonging to the first row and second column and this will be a13 similarly this will be a21 a22 a23 here it will be A, this is first row, first column, so A11, this will be A12, this will be A, this is belonging to the second row and first column, so it will be 21, this is second row and second column, so it will be 22, 
this will be third row and first column so it will be 3 1 and this will be a uh, third row and the second column so it will be 3 2 okay in general any element okay can be written as a i j where i is the row number to which that element belongs row number and uh, j is the column number okay so this is the background of a matrix okay so i'll give you some of the uh, example of matrix at this stage suppose i write this okay it's a uh, 3 3 minus 1 and a minus 1 this is a matrix right this is a matrix because i've put it in a rectangular bracket and these elements are arranged in rows and columns so this is my row 1 this is my row 2 this is my column 1 and this is my column 2 isn't it and this matrix are denoted by any capital letter of uh, english alphabet so you can say a b c d up to z anything you can use but it should be capital okay so this is a matrix a and these are the elements 3 3 minus 1 minus 1 these are the four elements of this matrix and they are arranged in two rows and two columns right now there is something called order of a matrix order of a matrix is the number of rows now how many rows are there here one and two so i'll write rows first the number of rows first then i'll put a cross and i'll write the number of columns here the number of columns is two so this is a two by two matrix okay this is known as the order of the matrix fine now i'll give you another example of a matrix suppose this is your matrix b this is say 21 42 and minus 11 okay now this is a matrix b now here i have shown uh, this matrix with the help of a uh, round bracket a huge round bracket okay instead of a uh, rectangular bracket so no issue you can either show by rectangular bracket or round bracket right now here if you see it has three rows one two three isn't it and it has only one column okay this is one column only okay these are not two columns this is one element 21 42 1 1 okay i mean minus 11 okay so this is one column right so the order of this matrix will be how many rows three rows so three cross how many columns one column so three cross one so this is a matrix of order three cross one is that clear so this is in general how you have to represent a matrix okay these are known as the elements let me tell you in this uh, b matrix okay this uh, this particular element 21 is in the position a 1 1 because it belongs to first row and first column okay now this 42 is an element of this matrix b so we are talking about the b matrix okay the elements so 42 cup position is second row and the first column okay so i can write here second row and first row. first you have to write two and then one first you have to write the row number then the uh, column number okay see i is the row number and j is the column number okay so it should be i j right and uh, minus 11 is nothing but the position is a 3 1 okay these are in general known as a i j the elements are known as a i j i j represents the position okay a i j represents the element i j represents the position i represents the number uh, row number j represents the column number i hope that is clear so far okay yeah now let us proceed now now you know that what is a matrix now let us try to understand what are the different types of matrix in short okay now the types of matrix different types of matrix now that way there are so many types of matrix okay but i am going to stick to your syllabus and uh, i am going to explain and discuss only those which are there in your syllabus okay so types of matrix may number one there's something called row matrix number two there's something called column matrix okay number three there's something called square matrix 
Number four, there's something called rectangular matrix. Okay. Number five, there is something called uh, identity matrix. Identity or you can say unit. Identity or unit matrix. And the uh, sixth one is there is something called uh, zero matrix. Okay. So, uh, that's it. Okay. So, one by one I am going to tell you what are these different types of matrix. Now, what is a row matrix first of all? Okay. So, row matrix, you know, is any matrix which has only one row. Okay. Uh, it can have any number of columns, but it has only one row. Okay. So suppose I draw, uh, I construct this matrix M is equal to, okay, uh, I am keeping only A, B, C. These are the elements A, B, C. Now this is a row matrix because it consists of only one row, okay. So this is known as a row matrix. Of course it has uh, three columns, but uh, columns can be any number of columns you can have, but the row has to be one. So this is row matrix. In bracket, I'll write uh, one row only. Okay, this is the criteria. One row only. Uh, I'll give you another example. N is a matrix. Okay, which is having say uh, one minus three, two and zero. These are the elements. Okay. Now, okay, but this is not a row matrix. So let me. Okay. Uh, yeah now 1 and minus 3 this is also a row matrix okay why because it has only one row that criteria has to be fulfilled okay one row only okay and of course columns are two here there are two columns here there are three columns okay so columns can be any number but row has to be one that is known as a row matrix I hope this is understood same way column matrix is what column matrix is a matrix which has only one column okay so suppose i draw a matrix like this okay which has only one column okay suppose it is a b and minus c now this has three rows one two and three but the column is just one okay you have only one column so this is known as a column matrix okay it has three rows but column is one only so it is known as a column matrix so basically a column matrix is one which has only one column one column only is the criteria it can have any number of rows it can have one row two row three rows or a number of rows but column has to be one only so i hope this is also understood column matrix right square matrix is something which has equal number of rows and columns okay so suppose i draw a matrix which has two rows and two columns okay so suppose this is one minus one two minus two okay now this particular matrix has row one row two it has two rows and column also it has c1 and c2 two columns okay so this is known as a square matrix square matrix now what is the criteria equal number of rows and columns okay it should have equal number of rows and columns now this is a square matrix of order 2 by 2 because 2 rows and 2 columns same way you can have a square matrix of 3 by 3 order also 3 rows and 3 columns okay so suppose this is a square matrix okay this is a 3 by 3 square matrix. This is also a square matrix. Why it is a square matrix? Because it has equal number of rows and columns. Okay. And in fact it is 3 rows and 3 columns. Okay. 3 by 3. This is 2 by 2. Okay. It can be 4 by 4 as well. So these are something called as square matrix. So square matrix is also done. Right. And uh, then you have something called rectangular matrix rectangular matrix are matrices now see matrices is plural matrix is singular okay so don't get confused with that as well 
So suppose you have a matrix X and uh, the matrix is uh, having uh, unequal number of rows and columns. Okay. So suppose it has A, B, C as the first row and it has uh, D, E, F as the second row. Okay. So number of rows is 2 but the number of columns is 1, 2 and 3. 3 columns. Okay. So two rows and three columns. That is unequal unequal number of rows and columns. Okay. Such matrix are known as rectangular matrix. Okay. So this is a rectangular matrix. Understood? This is a rectangular matrix. Okay. So, hope you are understanding the different types of matrix. Next is identity matrix and then the zero matrix. Okay. Now, fifth and sixth, identity and zero matrix. Identity matrix is any matrix like A, which has all the elements as one except the diagonals one. Okay. Now, let me tell you, identity matrix will be only in the square matrix category. Okay. So, identity matrix is suppose 2 by 2 matrix if I want to write. So, I will write this this way. Okay. This is a 2 by 2 square matrix. Now, this is an identity matrix because and let me tell you in any square matrix, you know, this particular axis, okay, or this particular line that I have drawn is known as principal diagonal. This is known as a principal diagonal. So, if in a square matrix, the elements on the principal diagonal are 1 and the remaining elements are 0, then it is known as an identity matrix. So, this is an identity matrix of order 2 by 2. This is identity matrix of order 2 by 2. Okay. Similarly, if I want to draw an identity matrix of order 3 by 3, what I will do is I will put a 1 over here, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 0, 0, 1. Now, this is a identity matrix. Matrix of order 3 by 3. Because it has 3 rows and 3 columns. This is 2 by 2. Because it has 2 rows and 2 columns. Now, here also if you see, this is the principal diagonal. And you will be able to see that on the principal diagonal, all the elements, all the three elements are 1 and the other elements are 0. So, this is the criteria for identity matrix. The elements on the diagonal should be, principal diagonal should be 1. Okay. All the elements on the principal diagonal should be 1. Not a single should be other than 1. Okay. All the elements on the principal diagonal should be 1. That is criteria number 1. Second criteria is all the remaining elements, okay, which are not on the principal diagonal, all the remaining elements has to be 0. Okay. Then only it is known as identity matrix. Okay. What is other name for identity matrix? It is unit matrix. So, either you call it identity matrix or a unit matrix. It is one and the same. And one more thing let me tell you. This unit matrix or identity matrix are all square matrix. You cannot uh, imagine a uh, uh, identity matrix which is rectangular. Okay. You cannot. Fine. So, square matrix only will be identity identity matrix or unit matrix okay is that clear and the last type is a zero matrix zero matrix is any matrix which has all the elements zero now this is zero 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 it can be square or a rectangular now this is another identity matrix zero in uh, sorry zero matrix okay all these are examples of zero matrix Zero matrix are matrices which has all the elements zero. Okay, it can be of any order. It can be square. It can be rectangular. Fine. So I suppose I have made you understand all the different types of matrices. Okay, all the different types which are in your syllabus. There are many more different types of matrices. Okay, I have I have told you what is the order of a matrix. Okay, I have told you. Uh, what are the elements of the matrix? What are the position of the elements of the matrix? And uh, one more thing before I, uh, you know, go to the next part of this uh, topic. Let me tell you 
uh, one more thing about this matrix and that is uh, uh, what I wanted to tell you uh, position I told you okay okay so uh, these are the different types of matrix that I told you now we'll come to algebra of matrix now, what I mean by algebra of matrix okay when I say algebra of matrix you know you must have seen in your arithmetic you know there are four operations addition subtraction multiplication division these are the four basic operation in your arithmetic okay so numbers can be added it can be subtracted it can be multiplied it can be divided okay these are known as the basic operations basic mathematic operations basic mathematical operation right same way for matrices you know you can have these operations okay but you will have only these three you don't have this division okay so any matrix a can be added to another matrix b okay so addition is possible okay this is known as addition then you can subtract a matrix from another matrix so this is uh, uh, this is uh, b minus a uh, sorry a minus b okay so you are subtracting matrix b from matrix a so this is also possible this is subtraction subtraction of matrices then multiplication is also possible suppose you have a matrix okay one matrix a and you have another matrix b okay suppose you have two matrices a and b you can always do multiplication okay multiplication of these two matrix is also possible okay but then division a matrix a this can be written as a b okay or you can write matrix a multiplied by matrix b fine but this is something which is not possible okay that is division of matrices division of matrix is not defined okay instead of this division you have something called inverse of a matrix inverse of a matrix okay so in algebra of matrix you are going to learn how to add two matrices how to subtract two matrices how to multiply one matrix by another matrix and division is not possible in matrices and you are going to study how to find the inverse of a matrix so in operation of matrices or in algebra of matrices we are going to study addition subtraction multiplication and not division but inverse so there are four operations which you are going to study addition subtraction multiplication and inverse of a matrix okay so with this as a starting point with this as the introduction to the matrices i am ending this today's session year and year only because i don't want to dump you with the everything in one go and uh, in the next video that is the second video of this same chapter matrices and transformation i will be starting with the examples of addition subtraction multiplication and the inverse of a matrix how to do this addition subtraction etc of two matrices two or more matrices and we will be doing some uh, examples from the david renner book as well okay so we have got uh, started with this particular chapter and I've just today introduced you to the various types of metrics, the terminology that will be, uh, you know, uh, coming in this chapter. You should be familiar with the terms and all that. And uh, now in the second video, I'll be starting with the algebra. Okay. And then we will go on, go on and go on. So that's all for today's video. And if you happen to like my video, please subscribe my channel. Please like the channel and please uh, press the bell button also I don't have that bell button right now on my video but I'll be doing that I am a new uh, comer in this field okay so slowly I am also learning things so uh, anyways uh, uh, thank you for being with me and goodbye take care and uh, anticipate for the next video bye